Hi, my name is Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a curled photo effect. So the first thing we're going to need to do is grab a photo. So I'm going to grab this one right here. And the next thing you're going to want to do is come on over to elements. What you want to do is grab you a circle. So you want to line your circle up kind of at the top. You can go over if you want to. It doesn't really matter. And you want to create the top part of that curl. So I want to go up a little bit and uh, what you want to do next is change that to your background color, which is white and see how your curl looks. If you want to make it deeper, more shallow, it's up to you how much of a curl you kind of want to do. So now that you've got that there, the next thing you want to do is come back over to elements. We're going to go into shapes and this is a shape that I haven't really used before. So I'm going to go into here and get an arch down in the shapes. So I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to spread it out like so. And then what I want to do is I'm going to get my border weight and turn it all the way up. I'm going to turn my border color to white. I'm going to change my interior color to transparent. And then what I want to do now is take this up. And then I'm going to take my bottom and cover the bottom like so. I want to try to match my curl as much as possible. So if I need to spread it out a little bit more to make the curl kind of match, what I want to do is make sure that I'm taking that curl that and making it big. So what I'll do real quick so you can see is change the color of it so you can see it. It's gray. So I got that box out like that. So we're going to change it back over to white. And once you get your curl the way you want, want it at the bottom, I want to try to make get a little more curl, move it up some, squeeze it in. And get that curl going a little bit better and then that's a great curl right there so now what we want to do is we want to go over and download this so i'm going to download it i'm going to download it as a png now if you have canva pro you can do this in canva so we're going to take it to the background remover i'm a free user so i'm going to go over to remove bg now that i'm in remove bg or you can do it in canva what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the photo and I am going to upload it to my background remover, whether it's Canva or this. So this wound up taking out the photo part. So if it does that, we're going to go and restore that. So I'm going to click the restore and just click this and kind of give it a qu quick little wipe. Now it's back in there. I'm going to go done. I'm going to download and then I'm going to go back over to Canva. Now that I'm back over in Canva, I'm going to add the second page. I'm going to take my remove background photo now, and then I'm going to upload it. And you can size it however you want to do. And then I'm going to come over to edit image. I am using the old editor. So if you're in the new editor, come all the way down to the bottom here. There will be a blue box down here. It'll tell you revert to the old editor. That's where you can switch back. And if you want to switch back to the new editor, you'll have this up top and you can just go back to the new editor. But in the old editor, you have shadows. You have a different amount of shadows in there. And one I like to use for this is called curved. So with that, I want to use the curve effect and see how that pops off like that. And that's all you got to do. And you just wait. You see this little... Thing. When it gets to check mark, you know it's saved, or there's a box that pops up over top of this. When that disappears, you know it's done. And that's how you make it curled. And it looks like it's curling off. And if you make something like a uh, photo board or anything like that, you know in real life photos start to curl. So if you want to just go and grab like a push pin, let's see, I want a different color push pin. Let's make it a yellow or blue. I like a different color push pin and kind of put it in there like you would in a normal photo. And then if you have like a vision board or anything like that and you want to put photos in there, that is a great way to do it and make it look more natural because we know photos curl over time if they're out in the open and not somewhere where you can leave, keep them flat like a photo album or a picture frame. And that's how that you do that little trick. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I thank y'all for stopping by. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.